Hello, my name is Samuel Parra. I am originally from Venezuela and I am a recent alumni of the Master of Autonomous Systems program. And today I'm going to talk about my work specifying and generating simulated environments for verifying autonomous mobile robot scenarios. So how can we verify that our robot application is safe? One way we can do so is to gather data to argue for the safety of the system before deployment. So we can do this by exposing the system to as many different situations as possible. If we want to do this more efficiently, we can employ simulation, which allow us to modify the environments more easily. However, creating one or more environments for simulation is still quite laborious, so it remains an open challenge. So what are we interested in modeling? So we want to model the spaces and elements that are frequently found in indoor environments. So we are interested in modeling hallways, rooms, and special due spaces such as receptions, as well as elements that are found within it, so entryways, columns, and dividers. If we want to create variations of these environments, we might be interested in modifying the spatial attributes of the environment, such as the width of an entryway or the pose of a corridor. So we want to model these environments and their variations using a programming language if we want to do so systematically. And so for this, we introduce two domain-specific languages, the Florpan DSL, which is a specification language for the layouts of indoor environments, which is declarative and composable, and the Variation DSL, which is a language for defining variations of layouts by specifying probability distributions. And so taking a closer look into the Florpan DSL is a textual uh, model which we can use to declare the spaces and their features and their locations in the world. And then we can take these textual descriptions and transform them into 3D environments and occupancy grid maps through model-to-model -model transformations. For the variation DSL, it allows us to model probability distributions, which are later sampled to create the variations of the environment. So for instance, here, you can see that we have three different probability distributions, which we use to create variations on the thickness of the walls, the width of the entryway, and the position of the corridor. So in conclusion, verifying robot systems is something that is essential, but can be a challenge if we want to do so in simulation. And so for this, we introduced a systematic way uh, of generating these environments through two domain-specific languages to model the indoor environment and their variations. In total, it shows the value of a systematic approach to generate simulations artifacts. Thank you.